I'm Harold Rushton. Uh, we're talking about U.S. field target and also world field target today. And uh, we're going to talk about the three different positions that we normally shoot and field target. Uh, I'm going to show you my position. Uh, I'm going to show you each of the positions, how I shoot it and why I shoot it. Uh, first, we'll start with a seated position. And uh, then we'll go from seated position to the kneeling position. And then finally, we'll go to the uh, offhand position. This is a seated position. Uh, this is a position that uh, I find most comfortable for me. Um, I get a wide stance with my legs, uh, foot out here on the right side, foot over here on the left side. Try to make kind of a, a good solid position that way with the two feet wide apart. I'll plant my right elbow uh, just below my knee, uh, just above the thigh, nice and solid. I want to plant the, uh, the butt hook of the rifle into my shoulder nice and solid. And I want a good solid position on my uh, knee with the knee riser up front. I usually take this hand and cup underneath uh, with just a, a, a firm, but not too firm of a grip, just, just a kind of a loose firm grip, I guess you would say. And then position the other hand here until I'm comfortable and then move my face into the uh, cheek piece. Take a couple of deep breaths. Get the pulse rate down use the level of the rifle to level things up so they have got the, uh, the rifle sitting level. And once I have it in position, check the wind after loading and take the shot. So that's why I do the things I do with the uh, seated position and how I do it. I get a good wide position, try to plant this arm in good and tight on the right side to support the rifle, plant in the uh, butt hook real nice and tight. And then once again, firm up front, loose back here on this grip, get a nice natural position, and squeeze the shot off. Just as simple as that. This is a kneeling position. Um, in this position, I like to get as low as I can and still stay stable uh, with, with my position and platform. So I plant. This foot out front, uh, usually as close to straight toward the target as possible, may have a little bit of an angle to it, but this foot goes out front, the knee bent here, this arm across the, uh, the top part of the thigh and knee with the elbow, I mean with the uh, wrist outside away from the knee, not, not being rested on the knee, because that's part of the rules, can't do that. Rifle planted in the palm of this hand, rifle butt planted firmly into the shoulder, this arm I try to kind of tuck in and keep it kind of into me a bit, if at all possible, so it's not waving out here in the wind and causing movement. Tuck it in good and tight. Then plant my cheek into the, uh, the cheek rest. Take a couple of good deep breaths. Then release the shot after lining up. Uh, this knee is touching the ground and then the, uh, the right uh, toe is on the ground, uh, planted into the ground behind me. So I've got kind of a, another good uh, stable wide platform here. I'm getting kind of low into the, the uh, position so that my center of gravity is low and I'm not up here high waving around. So I want to get kind of low and comfortable into it, get a good solid position in this arm and make sure that I'm not waving around and moving around very much and get myself just as solid as possible before taking the shot. And that's my kneeling position and it seems to work pretty well. Uh, this is going to be uh, talking about my offhand position. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about here is how the jacket kind of supports me. I use a uh, Creedmoor shooting jacket. Um, I like the way the Creedmoor is made. I've used it for about uh, five or six years and uh, it seems to support real well. So first thing I do with this jacket is go ahead and cinch down all the straps on it. Do it nice and tight. You'll notice in my seated position I don't do this. I like to try to keep the jacket loose. And uh, it's more comfortable that way for seated, not necessary. But uh, lock the jacket in, get it good and tight. So I've got good support out of the jacket. So when I get ready to set my position, plant my arm in here, it's gonna be nice and solid. So take it from here. 
normally adjust my uh, knee riser to the appropriate position. Put the butt hook into the shoulder nice and tight. I like to reverse my hand here. It gives me a more stable position, seems like, when I'm shooting offhand shots. Get a nice couple of breaths. Lock the elbow in close to the body. This hand is loose. This hand is supporting the rifle. Check my level. Position my shot. Then take the shot. Okay, there you have my three uh, positions for field targeting. The seated position, kneeling position, and offhand position. Uh, I think from this point, if I had three uh, pieces of advice that I'd give anyone uh, getting into field target, it would be uh, preparation, equipment, and uh, confidence are the three things that you're gonna need in this game to do well. Uh, preparation being that you go out and you practice uh, quite a lot. Uh, I find that it's best for me if I'm practicing uh, a uh, target that's much more difficult than what I normally see in competition. That seems to work well for me at home. I set up a course of practice at home that's a lot more difficult typically than the normal match I see. Uh, so my preparation is, is, is uh, well done, well executed, and uh, as long as I'm practicing several times a week that seems to help a lot. Uh, the second thing is equipment. We talked about our equipment earlier, and uh, sometimes it can take uh, weeks, months, or years to get a rifle to a point where it's uh, competitive on a national or world level, I'm sure. You know, uh, it just takes a lot of preparation to get the equipment that you need. If you don't prepare and you don't get your equipment right, then you're not gonna have the last key to that, and that's confidence. If you got those two things together, good, well-planned, well-executed preparation with a good piece of equipment or pieces of equipment that are put together properly that you can be confident in, then in the end, if you don't do that, you're not going to be able to have the confidence when you go to a match to do what you need to do to win. But if all those things fall together, proper preparation, good solid equipment, then in the end you're going to have the confidence when you get there to win. And that's the three things that it takes to win, I think. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best hunting, air gun, gear and bow hunting videos on YouTube.